Uh, good afternoon and welcome to another informational video from um, Aquis Pimente. Uh, this one is about um, another series of, um, I suppose you could call them user refillable um, soda siphons, this time by the manufacturer Auto Siphon of Paris, France. So what we've got here is the two types of soda siphons that can be refilled. I believe this is probably an earlier version. It's frequently called the cafetiere style. It has that sometimes um, stamped on the head. And then there's a later version, again by Auto Siphon of, of Paris here, which has a, a grill, well, a, a cover, which is sort of held over the bottle. The bottle underneath is a slightly different shape and this was presumably to as a safety feature so that if the bottle got broken when it was dropped for something like that the the pressure of the gas inside wasn't fling um, fragments of glass around potentially um, uh, injuring people or the cafe um, users so we've got here both of these have been filled up with water um, on this one there is a band a wider band there with the word limit on it and that's for the maximum level both take roughly um, one liter or just under one liter of water and um, they fit into this soda siphon refiller so what we'll do now is we'll just screw the, the heads down and then we'll try these out in the soda siphon refiller now this has been um, uh, partially re-engineered. It's in the process of being re-engineered. We're trying to use as many of the original parts as possible. But this was originally designed for a slightly different size of carbon dioxide capsules. These are the, the ones that are modern and r pretty easily available. They're standard and <coughs> used but, you know, widely in, in the bar and hotel trade for making soda water with modern siphons. Um, this took a slightly reduced size, as in the, the capsule was slightly, slightly less length, not as high, but it will still fit. It's just we've had to re-engineer some of the internals so that um, it can be used in here, and we're still perfecting that, but we're 95% of the way there, I suspect. 90 to 95% of the way there. So I'll just stop the video here, put the heads on the... Uh, soda siphons and then we can right so what we've done now is we've just um, screwed the heads down on these both of these have had their heads all the seals replaced internally and um, for this one it's had its glass original glass tube replaced with a plastic one of the same size so those are all ready to go they should all work now this is the soda siphon the auto siphon uh, soda siphon refiller i think it was designed for hotels and bars perhaps in french villages and things like that where the deliveries um collection and deliveries of normal siphons was a bit slower or they had a lot of siphons so what you do is you reduce uh, you remove this peg and it opens like that and this allows you to put the soda siphon inside and then close this up like a clamshell, like so. Put the pin back in, like that, fully in. Now, that covers the bottle, so if it breaks during refilling, then all the glass and water is mainly caught by this, although it is perforated. So what we do is you get a capsule and you lift the mechanism up slightly make sure that that's seated in there it's just a standard capsule like that and you move this clamp down ensuring that the mechanism is lined up on the end of the soda siphon spout press down this lever and then you move this forward and that punctures the capsule should do
There we are. It's just about possible to hear the, the gas going inside. You have to hold everything down for quite a while. until you can barely hear the gas bubbles going into the water. Now I think if this was being used normally, at this stage you'd try and shake it, but it's not fully aligned and set up. So this is, um, there needs to be a few adjustments made before that will work. And then you re release the arm on the soda siphon and then allow that to come away and that's the excess gas escaping from within the mechanism and then I think at this point you can start to take it apart there we are and remove the soda siphon from there give it a little shake So, there we are. Now we can get a glass, which I have conveniently got here. And uh, show you that actually it has filled it. Now normally you would want to refrigerate that so that the carbon dioxide is actually dissolved in the water rather than just coming out quickly but as you can see refilling that worked quite well but there is room for a bit more improvement so now we will show you show doing the other one so we'll, we'll put this to one side and this one also fills inside fills up fills this so bring a soda siphon filler there, put that one inside like that, and make sure everything is lined, close up the gate like this, like that, make sure everything is nicely aligned, pop out the old capsule, as you can see is rather covered in frost, push, pull the mechanism down, so that you can insert a new capsule like that make sure that's all seated in there line the mechanism up check everything's okay again now make sure it's all aligned closed up press the lever down This one doesn't seem to be really making much of a noise. Not quite clear why. It's taking a bit longer than usual. Okay, now let's see if we can release the pressure.
There we are. Open the gate. Open the clamshell up. Take the soda siphon out. Give it a bit of a shake. And we can reject the eject the capsule here again. It's rather cold. Doesn't look as though it's been pierced very well. Still, see, you can just about see it's covered in frost. Has been barely pierced. Now, again, like the other one, it should be. As you can see, it's um, filled it, but I think there's a little bit of room for some progress. The piercing mechanism is 95% of the way there, but um, we need some more parts to make it fully working. Uh, but since this was a, a preliminary video just to show it all working, I think everything's good. Thanks very much for watching. This is a video that's been brought to you by Aquas Bimante. Bye-bye.